Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Terror. Hope everybody's well. All right, um, finishing up to the December reads today on this windy, windy late autumn day here in northern Michigan. Um, that windstorm that went through the west or like the Midwest finally hit us last night, and it's this is just super crazy. All the schools are closed. Barely anybody has power right now. My power has been glitching on and off all day. I'm just grateful to have enough light at this point to be able to do readings. So we'll get it figured out either way. Um, where was I going with that? Libra, it is time for your December 2021 reading. Oh my gosh, lots of friends flying out. wonder what's going to come out. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do, do whatever you choose to do. With the message given by the cards, if you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. Just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your moon rising or Venus sign readings if you think it might want something that might resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. Our dear friends, the cross watchers are always welcome at the fire sign tarot table. Everybody's always welcome on my table. I appreciate everybody stopping by, new and old. If you are new here and think we're going to vibe and stuff, you can hit the subscribe on the notification bell. That'd be super cool. If you're returning, thanks for stopping back by. It's good to see you. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel. It all helps the videos to be circulated to those who need the messages. So, yeah. Um... Wow, lots of friends flying out. Never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care whose cards they are, mine or somebody else's. And if it's not your reading, not your story, not your message, leave the cards on the table and walk away. It wasn't meant for you. We're going to go over these real quick before I invoke the cards and throw them down. Ten of Pentacles. Four of Swords. Two of Swords. Four of Pentacles. The Chariot. Five of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles reversed, Nine of Wands, Knight of Cups, Two of Cups reversed. It's a reading in and of itself, holy crap. Could be a family situation. Resting, taking a break, healing from a broken heart. I feel like some of you are putting distance in, possibly. Keeping your distance. Keeping people out in the cold. Or you feel like people are distancing themselves from you. People are holding things in. There's no communication. No hope for reunion. I feel like there's something coming in. Possibly one last shot, maybe. Huh. We're going to see if any of these come out in the reading. That was super crazy. I'm going to kind of like split these up. See what comes back out. All right. Wow, Libra. Okay. One more. Okay. Get them cut and get them invoked. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for December 2021. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring Libra to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Scoop this back just a tad so you can see the better part of the table. All right, talk to me. No longer able to hold back. The challenge letting yourself out of a mental prison. Okay. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Ten of Wands reversed. Eight of Cups reversed. 
You sense unfinished business of something. You've been able to unrelease your burden. Maybe you need to get something off of your chest. There's a return. I don't know if something is returning to you or you are returning to something. Why did it happen? Queen of Swords reversed. Star reversed. Seven of Cups reversed. Okay, so... Bad attitudes. Lack of healing. Confusion. This is super general, but I can work with it. Seven of Wands reversed. And the Queen of Pentacles reversed is the outcome. No, they're not all in the reverse. It's just how they came out. Three of Wands reversed at the bottom of the deck. No longer waiting. We're getting clarifiers on this. I don't like this outcome. I don't like that outcome at all. Talk to me, Universe Source, Spirit Guides. Talk to me. Talk to me for Libra, December 2021. One on the wheel of fortune reverse. One on the wheel. One on the wheel. Business was left unfinished due to wounded egos. Pride. One more. Yup. Bullheaded stubbornness. Wow. Okay. Why the Ten of Wands reversed? Why haven't you been able to get something off your chest? Emperor. Stubborn pride. Talk to me about the Eight of Cups. Return to work on things, okay? Queen of Swords reversed. bad attitudes and a departure. Six of Swords. Possibly someone left of their own volition. Possibly someone got kicked out and cut out. Seven of Pentacles reversed, clarifying the star reversed. No healing, no investment, no patience. Somebody lost patience regarding the healing of a situation. Double reversed. Departure from something toxic. Possibly there could have been alcohol and drugs involved. I don't know. Depends on your story. It's not yours. Don't take it. One of the Seven of Cups reversed. That fell, this dropped. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups. Sorry, Knight of Cups. One on the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups.
Someone didn't approve. There was no approval. There was a cutoff. Lack of healing. Oh my. Give me one more on this Eight of Cups reversed up top for what's coming up. Give me one more on that Eight of Cups reversed. Knight of Swords reversed. Someone you haven't been speaking with. They may have been watching you, but this is some this is someone you have not talked to. There has not been communication. Ace of Wands upright, Ace of Pentacles reversed. That's why somebody's being stubborn. This feels like so parent-child right now. This feels so parent-child. Stubborn pride. I'm hearing that didn't work out so good for you, did it? Ten of Cups. This is so family. This has to do with family. This is parents and children. If it's yours, take it. If it's not, leave it. But I feel like somebody's going home. Somebody's going home to face some music. Talk to me about this Seven of Wands reversed. Five of Cups reversed. King of Wands. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. King of Wands is somebody who stands up. Roll reversed. Dealing with some unfinished business. Might be a drudging up of certain things, but you're standing up. You're facing demons. Seven of Wands reversed can also be a humbling experience. Page of Pentacles, apologies are in order. Talking about this Queen of Pentacles reversed. Strength. I feel like somebody did something for their own happiness and their own emotional well being, and there was lack of approval. Eight of Wands. I feel like the Queen of Pentacles can admit when she's wrong. She's someone who has been humbled. I feel like if this was a family situation, it was not approached appropriately on either side. But family... They do that shit. I've done tons of things that my family did not approve of. And that's a hard pill to swallow. But I think this came from both sides. Sun card at the bottom of the deck. There's a reunion here. There's a bliss for reunion coming up. But it's how you approach the situation. It's how you communicate. It's being willing to go the distance. 
It's being willing to squash beefs and be humble for a minute. That's what this is feeling like right now. Okay. Talk to me. Give me... Give me a crystal power on this. For our Libra friends. Give me a crystal power. Oh, hi. Ten of Pentacles. Whoa. I celebrate everything I achieve. Maybe you've achieved goals. You don't have to rub it in somebody's face. When I show my work, others give support. Maybe you're coming back home for support. If that's the situation. Okay, okay, okay. Page of Pentacles. I am open to opportunities for personal growth. And the Hanged Man. I can see the situation another way. Sometimes you have to see the situation from the other person's perspective. Whole lot of Pentacles showing up here. I give and receive for the universal good. This is about equal give and take here. This is about both parties admitting, okay, maybe this could have been approached differently. Okay. Give me a wisdom. Give me a wisdom. Oh, hi. Happy, happy. round and round 25 and 26 19 flexible at the bottom of the deck do 26 first Twenty six, twenty six, twenty six. Your desires are effortlessly fulfilled now find joy in the present moment whatever is happening and be satisfied with things as they are for you're free from the shackles of longing and able to experience the liberation that comes out of actually being happy moment to moment. For you have chosen happiness over yearning for it. Now it is time for feeling joy for the sake of joy and experiencing contentment. None of this is because something outside of yourself. Your happiness is a result of your being at one with spirit's plan for your life. All is well. The tide is in for now. Enjoy playfully splashing in it. Number 25, round and round. The appearance of this card is a reminder that although it may appear that you've gone backward, the truth is that you're standing at a higher level looking down on your circumstances. You will learn something, do something better, and break a cycle set up in the past. You actually have a bird's eye view of your initial footprints and can access the wisdom of lesson wisdom and lessons learned. Very nice. Very nice. Number 19. Number 19. Flexible. A tree's roots are solidly planted in the ground, yet its branches can be bend in a hurricane, whereas a rigid structure like a building would come crashing down. Consider how the tree main <clears throat> remains supple and secure in every Thing around it is in shambles. This is how you need to be now. Willing to learn new things, teachable, malleable, yet firmly grounded in who you are. Common sense is important, but so is an open mind. Stay curious, stay open, stay aware. At this time, others will be flexible with you too. It's awesome. All right, give me an Archangel. Give me Archangel Michael. We're going to call it a read for you, Libra. Archangel Michael. Did I get a flipper? I did not. Archangel Michael. Come on. Your home is being protected by angels. Hmm. Okay. Your home is being protected by angels. Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over my home and its inhabitants. 
I ask that you post guardian angels at each window and door, ensuring its security. Thank you for guiding my finances so I can easily afford my rent, mortgage, or taxes. Be gentle with yourself. Archangel Michael, please guide me in treating myself with gentle, nurturing love in everything I think, speak, and do. Help me know that I deserve this compassion. I release feelings of guilt so that I may experience lasting inner peace. Yes, yes. Romance angels are helping you. Dear guardian angels of my soulmate, thank you for preparing my soulmate and me for love, for giving us the motivation to make healthful life changes and for arranging us to meet. Thank you for helping us recognize each other and have the courage to say hello so that we can eventually delve into truly intimate relationship. Shield yourself. Archangel Michael, I ask you to protect me, my loved ones, my vehicle, and my home with your powerful shield. Surround us with purple light, which allows us pure love to penetrate. Please stay with me day and night and keep my loved ones safe. Nice. Libra, thanks for coming down and hanging out. Know that you're loved and be blessed. And I will catch you in the next. Peace, love, and light. Take care.